And he still likes, looks like he can take on the hurdles like he's just running step for step, right? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hall of Famer, Roger Kingdom. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. It is so good to be back with my Olympic family after spending so much time in the NFL, you know. But uh, I'm going to start out by saying that I'm truly grateful. I'm grateful for God giving me the gift of life. I'm grateful for my parents, for their guidance, their love, and their tough love and support. I'm grateful for my siblings, okay, for their competitiveness, the challenges that they presented for me growing up to make me the athlete that I am today, okay? I'm also thankful for my wife, my family, and their support, knowing that sometimes now, and God only knows, I could be a handful, but still, they put up with me, okay? I'm also thankful that at the University of Pittsburgh, when I went there as a youngster, I managed to fight through and get my degree after a successful career in track and field. And that was one of the mo greatest moments in my life, getting that degree. <laughs> Having said that, okay, I would also like to thank the University of Pittsburgh, and all of my Hell to Pit family for their support over the years and encouragement. Following that, I would like to also thank Coach Bruce Arians and my former coach at Pitt, Coach Buddy Morris, for actually giving me the opportunity to coach in the NFL. And in coaching in the NFL, I coached a lot of greats like <clears throat> Tom Brady and Larry Fitzgerald Jr., my claim to fame. And it didn't hurt that we were blessed enough to actually, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, in the year 2020, Super Bowl 55, is to win a little gift, a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, to go along with it. So I'm very honored. I would also like to thank my fraternity brothers at Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated for their support and encouragement over the years for the IOTA Phi chapter, and also my line brothers, the Untouchables, that was great for their support, encouragement, and being there for me. And in closing, one of the things that I would like to say is that I've been on top of the world, the best in the world, winning the Olympic medals and also having the world record. But now that I'm a coach, being able to mentor and guide and share my experiences with the young athletes today has been more rewarding and fulfilling than anything else and sharing my dreams. Lastly, when you think about it, we all gonna have to knock on that door of life one day, but before we knock on that door of life one day, we all wanna make sure that we leave no dream behind and that we do everything that we can in life is to live a pleasurable life and enjoyable life. For the class, of 2022 Hall of Fame, the Olympics and Paralympic Hall of Fame, that is, inductees. I congratulate you all, and I'm honored to be here with you. And lastly, I thank the Olympic Committee and all of those responsible for making this happen. Thank you very much.